Stars are one of the most incredible and unique elements of the universe. Yet imagining one of these great engines of cosmic energy exploding in space sounds hard to believe. However, stars die all the time, in one of the most spectacular explosions imaginable. And some of them even die simultaneously through stellar collisions, one of the strangest and most marvelous phenomena in the universe, which can only be witnessed by a privileged few, and you could be one of them. What are stellar collisions? Stellar collisions are one of the major events in the universe that occur when two stars belonging to the same atmosphere collide and explode. They are believed to occur once every 10,000 years, making them one of the strangest events in space. Thanks to technological advances, a group of astronomers has detected and predicted the magical union between two of these stars. According to a study by a team of researchers at Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan, a binary star system is believed to merge and explode this year, creating one of the most impressive and spectacular visual events ever seen in the skies. These findings, presented at the 229th meeting of the American Astronomical Society by Professor Lawrence Molnar, it is believed that this explosion will be visible over most of the Earth from a distance, making it the first time in history that we will be able to witness a stellar merger and explosion without the need for an advanced telescope. But if you want to see this impressive event in detail, maybe it would be a good idea to buy a telescope since we do not know if we will be alive to see a repeat of a phenomenon of this magnitude. A phenomenon that, it is claimed, could cause the brightest burst of light in the entire night sky. The study of the star begins. The binary star system, known as KIC 9832227, has been monitored by Molnar and students at Apache Point Observatory and the University of Wyoming since 2013. After contemplating some changes in the star's brightness, a discovery by astronomer Karen Kinamuchi sparked interest in this system, so the group tried to identify whether it was a pulsar or a binary pair. Fortunately, observations made by the Kelvin Observatory and Professor Molnar and his colleagues were able to determine that it was a binary star of some kind, leading them to recall an investigation of the binary star system V1309 Scorpi that had been done in the past. Fascinated by discovering a similar stellar system, the researchers asked the following question, which helped us discover the imminent arrival of a similar phenomena. Could this system undergo a similar collision? To answer these questions, Molnar's team began to conduct tests, seeking to determine the behaviors of these new stars through a series of spectroscopic tests that led them to discover that the light they witnessed was a second star. Why is the discovery of this phenomenon so important? There are two reasons why this burst of light is so important to the world. First of all, it is the first time in history that an astronomer has been able to predict when and where a stellar collision will occur, something that has never happened before. However, what makes this discovery so shocking for the world of science is the second reason, which gives enormous significance to the achievement of this group of researchers because it's a break from the traditional discovery process. To this date, most large scientific projects are carried out with groups of thousands of people, requiring billions of dollars in funding. What Molnar and his team did, however, is completely improbable. With just a small telescope and a group of students, a professor and his colleagues began searching for something unlikely to be found, a nova explosion never before predicted by astronomy, and they found it. It represents a great achievement for the world of science, wherein, on many occasions, projects are born and die according to the interest of the people who finance them, in the same way that stars die. Where what might seem amazing one day might be ignored tomorrow because the media is talking about something else. Maybe because people are more interested in some kinds of discoveries, or those who fund the research are looking to pay someone with the certainty of getting results. And yet, even without that certainty, the love of the science and a small group of people was able to find what others would not even have considered. Because if it's impossible, why should we bother looking for it? Perhaps if we approach science with a different attitude, we would get better results. It happened thousands of years ago. As much as we talk about this impending stellar collision, the reality is that it has already happened. 
You heard me right, due to the great distance in which this solar system is located, it is possible that this system collapsed about 2000 years ago, only that its light has not reached us yet. This is one of the most incredible facts about space, since most of the objects we look at from Earth, whether planets, stars, or galaxies, have already changed, so we are only seeing a projection of them from the past. But why does this happen? It is related to the long journey that light has to make for these events to reach our field of vision. When we look into space, the light that enters our eyes at that precise moment could have originated decades, centuries, or even millennia ago. In other words, we could say that rather than predicting when a stellar collision will happen, we are trying to guess the exact moment when we will be able to contemplate it. Because as far as the collision is concerned, this event may have already happened, even before the fall of the Roman Empire. Will we be able to see this astronomical event in 2022? Although it is a certainty that the light from this explosion will reach the Earth at some point, it is quite difficult to determine the exact year in which this event that happened thousands of light years ago will be seen from our homes. According to a team of researchers led by Quentin Socia, a graduate student at San Diego State University, it is believed that the prophesized explosion may be delayed a little longer than expected, due to a typographical error in one of the documents used by the astronomers who found this phenomenon. A simple error that would have made Molnar's prediction perfect had it not been present. That is why, although some channels talk about this imminent collision of these two stars, the truth is that this miscalculation has made things change, so there is still much to be investigated. However, what we can take away from this research is that the scientific process used by Molnar's team has a very solid foundation, which will help future stellar collisions to be predicted with even greater accuracy. Demonstrating that even if we make mistakes, science can learn from them to come up with even greater results. Regardless of when it will happen, the discovery of the explosion of a two-star solar system is one of the most incredible phenomena of all years. It is one of the most exciting predictions of this century, which could help many people awaken their interest in the fascinating world of astronomy. The only certainty we have is that we still don't know anything. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, let me know what you would like the next video to be about. When do you think we will be able to see this impressive phenomenon? I'll be reading you in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future updates. Stay tuned.